it needs to do something with the enemy. It needs to, the bullet needs to, to disappear when it collides with things, but it also needs to tell the enemy to take, to, you know, receive some damage. Um, the only way it can do that is if it can, is if we can get the object that we're colliding with. So I'm going to have to try and create a bit more of a specific collision detection uh, method, I think. Let's take a look here. In Sprite, we've got her whole does collide thing. I'm going to duplicate this method and see what I can do to make it a bit more specific. Specific collisions. Let's, let's say get collision. And let's say it returns a sprite. And here's what we'll do. Um, if we call it'll return the first thing that we collide with. Or rather, let's say a sprite array get colli um, let's say get colliders. And then what happens is we'll create a, um, a sprite. No, uh, we'll call this an array list of sprites. We'll call it sprites equals new array list sprite. Okay, we'll use that to hold the sprites that we're colliding with. Now, we go through all the sprites and do the check that we're supposed to do. If we're colliding, then we want to say sprites.add sprite. And then at the end, we return sprites. So what happens is uh, sprites dot to array ah, okay sprite array now right here sprite array sprite array equals new sprite array with sprites dot size as its size part okay I'm gonna pa uh, pause here for a second so you can get what this is it's basically you know whenever you want to turn an array list like this into an array of objects of some type, you have to pass it an array to its to array method. So sprites dot to array, and you have to pass it an actual array right here, an empty array that it puts things into, I guess. So once you got all that, uh, we'll move on and let's see. Let's get colliders right there. One thing we, if we wanted to. We could simplify things by instead of having two methods and using does collide, we could just say get colliders and then say and then to determine whether we're colliding with anything, we just say if you know get colliders dot length is greater than zero. You know if there's any collider in this sprite array, then we must be colliding with something. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, maybe we'll do that later on. You know, as I keep saying that, maybe we'll do that later on. Um, <laughs> maybe we actually will. Um, but just not yet, because I'd like to get into the more interesting stuff. Um, now that we've got that, we go to the bullet, and in the update method, after we're finished with everything, we say if get colliders, uh, we have to ha pass it pose x and pose y um, dot length is greater than zero. Actually, let's let's copy this get colliders thing, and we'll say sprite array colliders equals that, and then if colliders is greater than zero, oh, I'm sorry. right to a bad guy object like that so we can do stuff with it now the bad guy we're going to say bad guy dot take damage and we'll pass it damage as a parameter here we've set the damage already so damage now in the bad guy script let's go ahead and add a take damage thing public void take damage and we'll say it takes 
a float called damage. For right now, let's just do this. World dot current world dot remove sprite this. So it will destroy it when it collides with that. We'll actually, you know, give it a health system so we have to shoot it multiple times uh, later on. But first we just want to see if, if our if what we have up to this point is actually working. So Yep. As you can see we completely get rid of that. Also in the bullet script, um, once we've collided with something, we do all that. Last thing we do after we've gone through all the colliders is we want to say world dot current world dot remove sprite this because we want to get rid of the bullet too oops so uh, oops uh, small problem um, we are colliding with the player that's adding us we don't want to do that For right now we'll, we'll take this out and put it in uh, simply if we hit a bad guy Mm, actually, no, at the end. Mm, I, just, okay, oh, uh, I don't like having to, do, having to write so much code just to get a simple thing done. Boolean um, was not us. No, was not player. I don't really want to hard code it into this. Let's just say. Yeah. Let's forget about that for now. Let's just say once we once we've hit one bad guy, we'll go ahead and destroy the bullet. Um, just for now. Although we should do it whenever we hit other things too. We'll just do it for now, like this. So now we go this way, and both the bullet and the bad guy have disappeared. Um, I'm running low on battery, as you can see uh, from this. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up, uh, and I'll record some more some other time. Uh, if you like this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um. I really wish I could put more episodes up more quickly, but I've been just been so busy lately. Um, but I really do appreciate you sticking with it and watching the episodes and following along. Uh, and I appreciate the, uh, when you leave comments. So many people have left some comments and talked about some interesting points and you know even showed ways I can prove my own code. So if you like the episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.